Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Tales and Tactics. In the last one, we finished up our first run um, and we ended up winning. But now there will be more modifiers, so it will maybe get easier and harder at the same time. I'm not sure uh, which will outscale the other. Probably you would think that it would get harder faster than it gets easier, right? Because you're also getting better at the game. But anyways, let's go ahead go to play. I think we're going to start quick start so we can skip the the boring things at the beginning. Uh, let's read everything. You have one fewer potion slot, but we can reroll. That sounds good. Enemies gain an additional tier up. That sounds really difficult. But we also have this vault that allows us to get things more often. Uh, we got perks. They have unique passive effect. Okay, which applies to both of us, yep. No more pale hearts, but I, like I said, I don't think that worked anyways. Um... Act 1, yield 1 fewer reward. Okay. What is bare bones? Oh. Recommended is just everything on. So, let's look at this guy. Because we played him before, but he didn't have any perks, right? So we might as well have just been playing anybody. Your team has only one unit of the magician type. It gains three mana regen. Upon entering a combat rune, room, gain a decaying potion of telekinesis that is destroyed if unused. Oh, so we sh it's just a free potion that we can use every single battle. Start the run with an uncommon and common unit. That seems pretty good. <clears throat> Start the run with the legend unit Blobber. Holds the most distant enemy, then damages it and slows it. What do you do? And we can't click on anyone else, can we? Start with rank 1 of Shrine's Blessing. Is that better than this? Probably. When you kill a boss, get a copy of it. It loses the boss trait. Start the run with a completed contract, which rolls a special shop sharing traits with it. I don't know if I'm stupid, but I didn't understand at all what that means. Start the run with a completed contract, which rolls a special shop sharing traits with a target unit. Okay, so I think it's an item in your bag. And when you use it on a target unit, it makes a special shop. Oh, it probably changes the shop at the bottom of all the units to be only units that share traits with that unit. Okay, I think we pieced it together. Start the run with the legend unit Hydra. Strikes three times in quick succession, activating all three of its heads. That sounds pretty good. I think we're gonna play the new character. This old character doesn't seem to do anything that special. We're gonna go ahead and play this character. Um, if we can win this run, we'll probably be looking to unlock, like, more types of combats. I don't know if it'll unlock more units or not, but... Anyway, so if you start after, with the quick start, then you automatically have your army size and you get three rerolls, right? Because you essentially skipped three battles. Although, we don't have a whole lot of star points. I think maybe some of that is due to one of the buffs that we, or debuffs that we had. Oh, but we do start with this Hydra. So, the thing about the Legend units is they don't share traits with other characters. They have higher base stats. So you can see there, a whole bunch of buffs. And then attacks have different effects depending on which head is striking. Current head, spiked. I don't know how you change the heads. I don't know how that works.
cards. Each hit triggers the traits on hit effects. Yeah, I'm not sure. But either way, I think we definitely want the Hydra to be in. Now, we don't have... We have two Beast. And we could also get two Dweller. But we do have rerolls. Let's start by buying all that. We might as well buy them all, right? So then we go. And also, how, so how does this work? Spend star points to gain duplicators. Earned when you next complete a combat tale. This increases its cost and the quality of future vault rewards. Next vault investment will be common duplicator. So I assume it just gives you an extra copy of a common unit. Alright, what do we got? Any of this? What does horror do? Because we got two horrors here. Seven seconds into combat, stun all stun and mana lock all non-horror units. For five seconds, horrors instead gain 20% damage for the rest of combat. While this is happening, horrors gain 10 mana regen. Doesn't seem that good. So here's a second one of these guys. Um, these guys don't synergize with anything. All right, another one of those guys. What do we got? We got this Gibbs guy. We got two of him. You don't synergize with anything, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of you. So let's just get you. Now let's do our last reroll. Okay, that gives us another one of these guys. We should probably sell you. Boom. Okay, we got a tier 2 already. So, I think we're looking to put you in. What do you do? Going invisible for 5 seconds and gaining 25% attack damage for the duration. Alright, so this guy's kind of like an assassin. So what are you? You're more of like tanky because you can heal yourself. It's oh we don't we're not gonna get three dwellers. I didn't realize it was three. Still probably fine. All right, let's get going. Yeah, they're a little bit tankier than us. Ooh, that's also really bad. What is this unit? Why does it keep... Why is the mouse not... Like, the, the cursor is not correct. <laughs> Didn't the game have a cursor the last time? <laughs> what happened? I'm not sure why the cursor is not working, but you can see it at least, so that's fine. Alright, what do we got here? I've seen this pot of gold before, so we could either get 6 gold, we could get 10 gold, this item that gives 20 armor, and if the wearer survives combat, you get 1 additional gold and 3 curse. Or we can get Shrine Blessing number two. I'm tempted to just... I mean, this is a lot of gold, right? Like, if we get this, we could get... Depending on how many times this procs, that could get us a lot of items when we get to the shop up here, right? Which is two battles away. I think we go with that. Okay, so we're going to get some mana regen from this guy. What does Bug do? Enemy units have minus two mana regen. That seems obnoxious. 
could get two of the Sanctus guy. But he doesn't... We don't have, like, any other elementals. What else is in here? Oh, right, the Lucky Charm and the Completed Contract. To roll a special unit store containing only units that share the traits. Oh, we should look at who, who did good last match. I'm surprised the Hydra is not at the top. Yeah, that bat kind of got killed instantly. This guy, obviously, because he's a tier 2 unit, he's just going to be stronger. Let's reroll this. Oh, we can get Hydras? That's interesting, because Hydra is obviously a level 2 unit. Let's go ahead and grab that. Grab the bat. I don't know what happens if you use this Lucky Charm on the Hydra. I would assume it just doesn't work, maybe? It doesn't say non-legend, whereas this one says non-legend. So maybe it does work and it just gives you a random legendary unit, which would not be very useful, right? So we need to give this pot to someone. <clears throat> Thinking we give it to the tier 2 unit. So he'll be tankier, plus if he lives, we get extra... What the heck is this? Use this from the inventory to change the active Hydra head. Fiery, gain 30 attack speed. Right, what do we currently have? We have spiky, gain 20 armor. Heal 5% of missing health on hit. I feel like we want you to be a damage dealer. This doesn't cost me anything, right? <clears throat> okay, we could just change for free. I was like, maybe you can only change once every single round. <clears throat> <clears throat> Use from the inventory to change Hydra Head to Cosmic. Gain 40 spell power. Grant an additional 10 mana on hit. Okay, so that's your mana spammer. I think right now we want the Scorch because it'll be the best damage dealer. Um, just auto-attacking. But depending on if we get enough mana regen or on-hit stuff. Like last time we did a really heavy on-hit build with the Snake, right? If we get those kinds of items, then that would be really good with Cosmic. Ah, it doesn't seem like we're getting any stronger. Do I reroll again, maybe? I could also use this, which I think would just reroll the shop, right? But do I really want to do that? I don't know. Like, I don't know enough about the game to make that judgment right now. But I feel like we're probably strong enough to win this round, right? So I think we just try to win. Oh, you're melee now. Oh, I did not realize that. Okay, so this guy needs to live, but it's actually not looking good for him living at the moment. Okay, maybe he'll live? The snake seems to have changed targets, which should make it okay. Okay, I didn't realize that your head changed if you were melee or not. Okay, so we leveled up. What can we get? Your units gain 5% max HP. When overtime is reached, deal 400 spell damage to all enemies. Gain one curse. Whenever you break a curse unit in the store, gain three star points. That's interesting. It's actually a pretty good one. Gain favorite book. Whenever the wearer casts, this item gains one spell power permanently. Like, what does permanently mean? Permanently mean could mean one of two things, right? It could either be for the rest of that battle, it has one extra spell power. Or forever, it has one extra spell power. Forever is significantly better, right? 
because now all of a sudden you're slowly stacking up so like grabbing this now could be very valuable I'm gonna grab this all right what do we got we got mystery consumable unique consumable unique equipment that has a unique unit what happens if you have two legendary units? Don't I assume that unique units are usually going to be legendary units? Okay, we did just level up, so I think it's better to get us more star points right now. What do you got? Okay. Serpent. I've seen this guy before cuz I went to this thing. Wait, it didn't say that this could give XP. Two armor and spell power per held gold. Up to 15 gold. We have 15 gold. So we would get 30 armor, 30 spell power on someone. <clears throat> or we could get this guy. Which this guy also earns you gold if you kill the guy while they're stunned. Or we could get 2 XP. I'm noticing that this did not offer star points anywhere, <laughs> but it offered XP, which it did not specify. I don't know if that was a glitch or what happened. Do we want the unit? Or... <sighs> this is tough, right? Because we could just like start spamming gold. I mean, this doesn't help us earn gold, but this makes our gold useful because we already have a way to earn gold with this i'm gonna go with this this might not be the greatest idea ever but we're doing it all right who can we fight we can get a fire potion we have gold so i'm more tempted to do this for more xp even though i think the fire potion is better than the wither vine potion this guy's a frontline unit right Okay, so we don't really want any of these, I don't think. Go ahead, reroll. And what all do we have in here? We got the favorite book, we got the mana regen. Got all kinds of stuff. Okay, we get another Gorbin. That he levels up. I think we save our star points. What I'm thinking is we're about to get like seven star points from this guy. Then. I think we want to use the completed contract maybe next round. After we get our reroll. And just buy a whole bunch of units. Hopefully level up our units. So what do we got going? How do you work? For 5 seconds and gain 25% damage for the duration. I assume maybe you can't be attacked while you're invisible. Also, the time should go up if we give him spell power, right? I'm thinking about just putting both of these on him. And then how do you work? You, why do you start with full mana? Oh, I need to change your heads. I need to see... It's the cosmic one. Oh, they, they're all, uh, melee. I gotta put you on the cosmic one. Cause you seem to start with full mana for some reason. I don't know. It says item bonus a thousand starting. I don't know where it's getting that from, but whatever. So, go ahead, give you mana regen. And then you only take 80 to cast, but you're not going to have any mana regen. So maybe I give you the favorite book? Because if you really do cast right away, 
then you're going to start it. And we're going to see if this favorite book works the way I want it to. It will give you this. That gives you seven seconds of invis invisibility. You have all, you take 45% less damage. Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty good. Um, and this gives one mana regen. We'll give that to you. So you have lots of mana regen right now. You have 11 mana regen. Hopefully you can cast at least twice in one round. And, and you stay all the way in the back. Maybe just put this guy here and he's going to try and get that guy if possible. Because if we kill that guy, we just win, I think. Anyways, let's see. Oh, he's going for other people. Luckily, he's not getting attacked right now. Yeah, the bat just dies so quickly being a tier 1 unit. Ooh, that's this is not good. This guy needs to live, otherwise we don't get the gold. Come on, live. Oh, wait, he used his ability and immediately got attacked. But he will live. <clears throat> I don't know what invisibility accomplishes. So what do we got here? We got some weird dice thing. Oh, we also might consider investing in the vault. But we have you have to complete a combat tail to actually get the reward for investing in it. Okay, what do we got here? Um, when you roll the unit store, 10% chance to gain a free reroll. That's pretty good. 20% max health. Do you like the shrine blessing? The XP would be nice here, especially if we could get 4 XP, because then we level up. All of these are pretty good, right? I think we get this. Because then we can put this dude on top of it, and I think that'll be good. Okay, the store. So we gotta be aware that if we spend too much money, we'll be below 15 gold, and so that item that we have will be slightly worse. Um, none of this is that useful for us, I don't think. Check out the store. Okay, we got Bug. What's Telekinesis do? To reposition that unit to any other location. So you can move an enemy unit, so if like it's a backline unit, you just move them to the front. Hmm. So we could, we already have the crystal, right? So we could buy the gloves to put the crystal on the Hydra. Or we could buy the Gauntlets of Grace, put it on the Hydra, and then buy the gloves and also have the Gauntlets of Grace whenever they wear casts. They and the lowest, that might be pretty good too. But then we're spending all of our gold. I kind of like that. Kind of think we get this. And this. I don't think we need an item remover. I think our items are pretty well placed at the moment. So what do we get? So here. The shield. Shield, I think, is going to be really good with the sword on this guy because then he'll have lifesteal yeah I want the sword what is this what what's going on here why are these all scorched looking where is this coming from I actually, I don't know. Maybe it's just what the map looks like. <laughs> okay, so. This we want to put on you. 
Okay, so he does get this permanently. So we want him to just be casting as much as possible. Preferably. Before I place the buckler, I want to reroll. What do we got? We got this bear again. <clears throat> oh, but we can level up Stalker with this guy. The unfortunate thing is this guy is tier 2. How good is he? He's not doing that much. Like, he has no traits going for him right now. I feel like I picked the Lurch. What do ghouls do? Regenerate 2.5% of their missing HP each second. Might be something to think about going into. <clears throat> so if we do that... Now, I wanted to use this... I don't think we want the bear. So do I go for beast stalkers or ghoul stalkers? Although four beasts is pretty good, huh? Problem is, is we have the hydra. do this we didn't get any stalkers except for this guy it's kind of weird but so this guy should be much better than that guy the question is do I get rid of this bat for this guy How strong are you? You're also three range. Uh, we should probably use the Lucky Charm now as well. So we have Stalker. I feel like this guy's just gonna be better, but then we lose the we lose the beast. I take this guy out. Wait, what? Oh, they're slowed if they're on here, and they can't be on here. Okay. Interesting. Now we have Ghoul. We didn't get the thing where when you break curse, you get something. I don't know where to use the Lucky Charm. Is the problem I'm running into.
heck we do this invest thing? And then we'll go ahead and give this to this guy. Then that guy will get a sword as well. We'll save the Lucky Charm for now. Ooh, it's kind of bad. We can't damage these guys. They're like invincible. Okay, this guy's finally starting to die, but the healing is too much. Okay, one guy down. Two guys down. They don't have very much damage left over. Eh, they have enough damage though. Okay. We might still win. Can't believe this guy's still alive, but he's a ghoul. He's healing too much. This guy can't actually kill him. That's funny, it had a voice line that was like saying how close that match was. Okay, so this guy got mad at us last time. Or Sky got mad at us last time. Let's choose this guy this time. He's displeased now, okay. So we could get a legendary wander bot. Um, okay. I don't know how good that is. Earn two additional gold from combats, but one less star point. Oh, I don't really want one less star point. But the gold is obviously good. Components from your combat tails can be changed into any other component you wish. That's sounds really good, huh? Okay, we're at the boss. So let's let's see how this works, huh? Drop this on a friendly common unit to create a one star copy. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. But how do I... How do I use this? Can I get you anything while you puzzle this out? A biscuit? Oh, maybe only when I get them? But anyways, I want you to have this. So he's got lifesteal now. I don't know what slow means exactly. Let's reroll. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, huh? I don't know what disarming means. Maybe they can't attack? Gotta place this guy here. Cause he's gonna be our strongest unit right now. I really think we gotta get rid of this guy. I made one copy of this guy. Then we'd have a tier two version of him. I think I use this. I just don't know if that does anything to him. I don't know if slow only slows how fast they can move. Or if it slows how fast they can attack. If it only does... This guy doesn't move, I don't think. Because he has he's ranged. Do I reroll again? What do phase do? Oh, that's actually really good. The Fey buff would be sweet.
Or should I maybe invest in this character? I think I will, because if we survive this combat, then we get another character in. And that character's pretty good. It's likely we'll get rid of these bats. Do we win this? Part of me is thinking I should roll again. I will. Yeah, I think it paid off. I think that's going to be very useful for us. And we'll save some of this other stuff for later. Thinking likely I'm going to use the Lucky Charm on that new unit we just got. Ooh, this guy needs to stay alive longer. He just keeps getting stunned. So these guys are hitting the back line, which is pretty good. This guy's barely alive. This guy needs to live, otherwise we don't get the extra gold. But it's okay if we don't get the extra gold. It would just be a shame. We're gonna win for sure. Will this guy live? Yes, just barely. Oh, nice. It gives you the gold before the match even finishes. Okay, so we leveled up again. Baymark. Gain a Corvid. Okay, that's pretty good because we that's the character we just got. Gain a crystal component. Your units with an equipped crystal or crystal completed item gain maximum five mana minus five. That's pretty good because we do have a don't we have two crystal? Oh I guess. I assume it doesn't work twice, because this guy has two crystal items. Probably doesn't work twice. What does this do if you have two crystals? Gives you this. Grants additional mana regen equal to 5% of your mana. You have a lot of max mana, right? That would give you, like... 7 mana regen? That's a lot. Especially since he's infinitely stacking this favorite book thing here. Okay, what's the last thing? In combat rooms, gain the hex modifier mana flow in one of the two rear columns. The unit placed here gains 50 starting mana. Okay, so there's obviously everything here is really good, right? I think this one's a little bit too weak because the unit that we want to have that wants to be at the front. We do have the reroll perk, but I think these are also good. Um, Faye, we need to, oh, right, we get a copy of the boss. I totally forgot that was even a thing. So we want to phase, and it makes specifically, oh, that's a shame. I'd want to give that to this guy, right? I think we choose this one. So, army size up. So, now the question... I don't think we want this Fey. Well, now we have a Fey war banner as well. Hydro. We need the Hydro because that'll upgrade the Hydro. Question is, do we want Sir Sparkles? Let's get this first. Oh, I probably should have waited until I picked who we're fighting. What do we need? This seems so much better, right? Because we get this telekinesis potion. We get two less gold, but we have so much gold income. Not that upset by that. Okay, what does this do right now? Next vault will give common and uncommon. That seems like a way better use of our money. We can also get this guy just in case we want to use that. So 
So first of all, you're going in. Ice breath. There's a possibility. Okay, I assume you can't do that, right? I don't think so. Like, I don't know which one's better, the Hydra or this guy. This guy seems like he would probably be better, right? So who am I making into a Fae? Because that's going to be big for everybody. Because everyone will have lower max mana costs. But the phase will get extra. Don't want to give it to you. That would probably be a mistake. Maybe you? Because your thing is so expensive. But am I crazy or did your max mana cost go up? I'm a little bit confused. So you're uncommon. Oh, I figured out how to tell if they're common or uncommon think it's what their border is so the hydra is common you're uncommon that's common you're like rare or something because you're blue so i think we're definitely going to do this invest thing all right what just happened there is it highlighting specifically the units that can be upgraded with that? Yes. Okay, well, let's do this. What does that give us? Give us a stalker. That guy's not very useful. So who's going on to this, I guess, is the question. Maybe you because you heal percent of your mac of your missing health. Oh, okay. Oh, a another stalker could be big though. But we'd have to get rid of either the Hydra or the Ghoul. It's probably not worth it right now. So is this better than this? I guess it is because we get two Fey out of it. I'm gonna do this, I think. Oh wow, that guy just got obliterated. That is not good at all. Uh, we can't like damage these guys? This is bad. Yeah, it's not even close. We're just getting destroyed. That was not good. Um... We need our units to be tiered up, but it's kind of hard for us to get that right now. Potion slot and three potions. Jeez. Oh, 
get this. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned now. What does the next one give us? Two uncommons. How the heck do we win a match now? I think we want this. So they are all tier two. So whoever's on top of this gets very strong. Yeah, this guy just insta died. So that's not great. So I think uncommon duplicator we use on you. Common duplicator. Do our reroll. It's just none of the units that we're using. I need to get someone to tier 3. Which you'd think would be easier than this, but... Get rid of you. Okay, this guy. Oh, but wait, do we die if we do this? Yeah, okay. That sucks. Really, we see the unit that we need, but it's cursed. Because we have a 25% chance to curse, and apparently that means that everything is cursed. That's really bad. I don't know what to do. We just got really unlucky right there, huh? Ah, another Hydra, but it's cursed. Dang. So yeah, we couldn't actually tear anyone up because the one unit was cursed. That's really bad. I think we just need to start using potions as well. You there, you get slowed. You go there. I think this guy needs to be switched to the the spiky one. Okay, I think we might lose here. I don't really know what to tell you. We just, uh, I couldn't upgrade any of our units. It wasn't working. Might be okay. I don't know. It's not looking great. Can this guy kill everybody by himself? We will find out. Uh, yeah, I guess he can. I mean, he's he's strong, but Cut that a little close, don't you think? Okay, give me the lurch. I guess we should pick where we're going first. A unique perk. When hit, the wearer gains two spell power. And they cast for the third time. Are we actually casting three times in a match? Just take time. 
Who could use this? Maybe this guy on the front. I really need to reroll first, I think. Oh, I got... No, I, we had already gotten rid of the Hydra. That doesn't matter. Okay, we found this guy. Which is big because... We can now get him to tier 3. Oh, here's, we could change this into anything. That's pretty cool, actually. Give me that. All right, what are we fighting here? Like, we need the XP as much as we can get. Um... So, you get that. I don't know who to give this to. I could give it to this guy. I need to put these items on someone, right? This guy's just unfortunately dying too quickly. And what can this combine with? Oh, that. That could be something. Yeah, we should get a shield. Come buckler. Yeah, okay. This might work. This guy's still just getting owned, though. But the, yeah, that healing is big. Yeah, it makes this thing so hard to kill. Plus he gets like 5% missing health on hit with his uh, spike head or whatever. Yeah. This thing's a pretty decent tank right now. Okay, what do we got? We get a tier 2 bear. <laughs> we already sold this guy once. Or we can buff this even more. I think we buff this. <laughs> Okay, we got a shop. It's also going to upgrade some units for us. What do we got? That's nothing at the moment, but we could still reroll that. Um, spell power, mana regen. The first four times the wearer casts their spell, they gain spell power equal to 20%. Be a healer. We don't have any other healers, though. And remember, we can change these to anything. So maybe we just buy two of these. And we can make any item in the game. Question is, who wants what? 40% attack damage. K 
Okay, this thing's interesting. When hit, gain attack damage and max HP. Be really good for this guy. Oh, this maybe. Double meat. Heal 1% max HP each second. And then summon the chicken when you die. And taunt all foes. That's pretty good for this guy, right? I feel like we do that. That'll spend 16 of our gold, which will make this guy temporarily a little weaker, but... Should be okay. Oh, I can't change these? Rub your combat tails only. Oh no, okay, so what could it become? This might still be good. Deal additional damage. Okay, so which of you would do better with it? You... Put a thing on the ground. What do you do? I feel like you attack more. So we'll give those to you. Okay, that was a mistake. I didn't realize that was only... Only for combat rewards. Nah, I'm okay. I do like that they kind of warn you, like, are you sure you want to leave? Ooh, what do we want here? We could kind of use more star points. XP would be nice as well, though. I think we need the star points. This guy's a frontline unit, right? Okay, so this guy can't be here. Um, let's reroll real quick. Got another one of these guys. I didn't need to get that invest at some point, but. Um, so what does this do now? Spell power, attack damage. Just make this guy into an unkillable demon. This is gonna be rough. Because these two guys are probably gonna die fairly quickly. But as long, like, this guy will probably die first, then we'll see what happens. I hate that it takes them 1.5 seconds to get there. Ooh, this guy's just barely alive still. Yeah, he needs to get tankier. But, I mean, the rest of my team is, like, almost impossible to kill. If they all focus this guy then, like, they're weakened by the time they are actually fighting my good units. Okay. So, for the interest of, uh, time, we are gonna go ahead, take a break there, and we will be back starting up halfway through this run already just like i last time i cut it automatically because i didn't realize the run was going to take two hours um it seems like we're still not that fast at the game um but we'll probably get faster as we go but anyways we are going to take a quick break there hopefully you enjoyed this one and i will see you in the next one where we finish up this run